Life is very often about putting things together, like in a puzzle. We are individuals scattered around the world, dispersed, planetary, and we need to find a perfect match, for example, on the job market. As educators, we are really concerned about showing our students the best way to find this perfect match on the job market. Labor market is very specific. It is most heavily, it is an area which is most heavily affected by contemporary trends and uh, phenomena. For example, technology proliferation, pandemic, social trends. Technology, in fact, influences the job market because it generates a sort of mismatch between the potential employees who have specific skills and the job market who is changing very, very dramatically and needs new and new skills over and over again. In order to reduce this mismatch, uh, technology again may help because now employees are no longer restricted to a place where they live. They can work from different, different places. Um, in 2018, the majority of the world's workforce were connected by technological devices, by the internet connection, by email. And by 2035, it is expected that not only the labor population, uh, the population on the labor market, but everyone um, in the global population will be connected, the majority of people. So, as we can expect, uh, this, this is going to bring about changes in terms of a lot of competition, but also new chances for the people living in even the most remote places uh, on the globe. But looking for a job opportunity um, in a remote place in the middle of Africa, South America, where algorithms for sophisticated artificial intelligence are created, uh, where uh, sophisticated software is uh, developed, um, and barriers, geographical barriers, will no, no longer exist. Another trend which affects the labor market really heavily is um, the result of a um, social phenomenon um, referred to early in the 80s of the previous century as cocooning. A cocoon is a structure which is built by an insect around its body just to keep it protected from the influence, from the dangers of the um, world outside. Um, the dangers uh, refer, may refer to um, traffic, to air pollution, they may, re may refer to terrorist attacks, to lots of threats and dangers that we want to protect ourselves from. Um, in the situation of pandemic, um, the trend called cocooning was even more clearly visible in the whole population. Everyone stayed at home because we wanted to avoid this danger. But now we can already see uh, that some big corporations, global organizations decided that they can make it possible for the employees to work from the distance, to work from home. Uh, it means that employees will no longer have to appear every day at work. They can just stay at home and work. Um, a lot of big institutions, um, for example, IDEA Bank in Poland, um, announced that about 40% of their uh, work can be done from home. So about 80% of employees will be able to stay um, at home and do the tasks there. It was uh, also true about uh, big organizations such as Mastercard, uh, Barclays and Morgan and Stanley. Why am I talking in English? English is of course the language which is um, very widely used in the world of labor. Um, it is spoken by about 20% of the population, of the global population, and as the trend towards distant work uh, intensifies, we should expect that also the abilities to communicate in English may gain importance. 
English is also good because it's um, a flexible language to show changes that um, we witness in the um, world outside. When we combine two words, gig plus economics, um, the portmanteau word giganomics will refer to a new trend. Um, the trend shows that employees very often should not expect to do standardized jobs or have a job for life. What they should expect is in fact to work in gigs, in a kind of perform preparing a kind of performance different each time. Um, so it means that they will need to be creative, they will need to be open to different uh, challenges and they will need to prepare different things and do different jobs um, over and over again. Another English word, edutainment, uh, illustrates the trends towards combining two things in one. Education plus entertainment. Uh, it means that in education we should not only focus on tedious jobs, on doing hard um, standardized tasks over and over again, but there should be, there might be some elements which are um, fun, competition, um, which, which um, offer um, um, players or employees an ability to learn, work, but at the same time to entertain themselves. Um, lifelong learning, again, and an English term refers to the need of uh, employees to be constantly learning, to gain new skills, to be able to match the changing requirements of the potential employers. Uh, and to be able to respond to the changes we should, we should all expect. As we know, um, the only change in life, the only uh, constant thing in life is change. So we should be ready to uh, embrace it and to respond to it in the best possible way to be successful in a job market. Jesteście zainteresowani problematyką życia gospodarczego, zachodzącymi w nim zmianami? Poszukujecie sposobu na odnalezienie swojego miejsca na rynku pracy? Zapraszamy do filii Uniwersytetu Ekonomicznego w Katowicach, do filii w Rybniku, gdzie prowadzimy wykłady nie tylko w języku polskim, ale również w języku angielskim. Oferujemy studia pierwszego stopnia na kierunku finanse i rachunkowość. Na specjalnościach rachunkowość małych i średnich przedsiębiorstw, analityk finansowy i rynkowy, studia drugiego stopnia na kierunku ekonomia i finanse biznesu oraz sześć kierunków studiów podyplomowych. Studia w naszym rybnickim ośrodku to wspaniała przygoda, to możliwość spotkania wykładowców, ale również praktyków biznesu, to możliwość przebywania na naszym wspaniałym kampusie. Do zobaczenia w Rybniku.